What's up everybody, Camro here, and welcome to part 78 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be talking about skipping text. This is going to be a real quick one, because the only things that we're going to be doing are editing a script, and then showcasing the script change working in our game. With that said, let's get started. So the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because I'm becoming quite the impatient Pokemon player, and whenever I see a lot of long text boxes, sometimes I want to skip them. So for example, what I've got here is a guy who says, Hey, I talk a lot. My lines of dialogue are so plentiful. I, I have a lot of important things to say. So I'm sitting here mashing the enter key. I'm just mashing enter to get through his dialogue. What if there was a way that we could hold a button and skip through all of that dialogue? Well, there is. The link to download this, or rather, it's not even a download, the link to see this will be in the description. This is a tutorial called Essentials Text Skip Tutorial by Amethyst. So yeah, check the description to go to this Relic Castle page. But essentially, all that you want is this chunk of code right here. The instructions are a little bit different for V18, just because the um, formatting is a little bit different on this uh, command to search. But essentially, what you want to do is you just want to copy this chunk of code right here. Then you want to go into your scripts. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the Messages script. It's towards the top here, Messages. And then I've already got it selected, but it's down around line 1248. So it's right here. So right here is where the input trigger C and input trigger B is, as um, designated with the um, as designated by this post here. But really, what we want to do is we just want to copy this chunk of code, and we want to paste it right above this. So like that. So now the way that this works is if we are holding the input B, which in this case is mapped to X then it'll change our message speed and skip the next message. So now that we've made our change, let's just run our game and showcase this working. So what we've got here is our very talkative guy. Let's talk to him. Now let's hold the X key on our keyboard. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. What we could do is we can talk to people and skip through everything that they say. That's fantastic. Look at that. This person who would talk a lot, we blast right through it. Let's talk to somebody else and skip all their dialogue. Hey, hey, look, this person wants to say lines of dialogue to me. I'm just holding skip. That's fantastic. This also works on the intro of your game. Let's set it up now so that way I'm not using the uh, quick skip intro anymore and I'm using the standard intro. Let's go, there we go, cool. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new game and Oak is gonna talk to me and I'm just gonna skip everything. It's Professor Oak. Hey there, welcome to the world of Pokemon X. No info needed. Look at this, this is amazing. And this is particularly useful for testing your own game. Am I A? Yeah. Look at that. We can skip everything. This is so cool. Anyway, that's about it for this tutorial. The reason I made this one is because, like I said, I'm very impatient when it comes to a lot of dialogue in my games, and sometimes I like the ability to just skip through everything. I found this plugin, or this script change, to be very useful for my own development, because I've had to watch the intro for my own game so many times, and anything that can help that go faster is much appreciated. So, I would recommend that you make this change for your project, just because I love skipping through text, and hopefully you will find this useful too and learn to love skipping through text as I have. Thank you once again to Amethyst for putting this together. This is so quick and intuitive. It's very easy, and the link to uh, reach this post will once again be in the description. And uh, yeah, that does it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a short one, but hey, thank you so much once again for watching. I appreciate you. And be sure to follow me on Twitch and all that good stuff and subscribe and like and all that fun. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I hope that you guys all have a good one.